Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to do a motion graphic for a menu. So it can be used for anything, but I'm going to show you how to do breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. When you open Canva, you need to be in the video area. So select video and then we're going to create a blank video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a shape. So when you click on elements and you go into shape, see all and um, we're looking for a circle. So this is basically just as a guide. So um, so you know where, where to put your items. So it doesn't need to be terribly big, but we do want it in the center and the middle. So you can quickly do that by using the crosshairs or you can click on position and click on middle and center. So we already have ours there, so that's why they're grayed out. So back to elements and as I say we're going to do breakfast, lunch and dinner So and snacks. So the first thing we're going to look for is a healthy, healthy breakfast. So we're going to look in photos and we're going to go with this one. So we do need to have Canva Pro for this one. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can sign up for 30 days for free and you get to use all of the elements involved in Pro. So the reason we need Pro is because we want to remove the background. So when you click on Edit Photo, it brings you to the Magic Studio. So we're going to click on Background Remover and it amazingly takes the, uh, the background away. So I just don't want those extra little bits on the spoon. So just increase your brush size. It makes it makes it easier. And then we're just going to get rid of the spoon as well. And then you just click back and it goes back to your editor. So we're just going to put that up there for the moment. Just going to make it so that's that's the only reason the circle is here, basically, just so you can um, put them on the four points. So the next one we're going to look for is lunch. Healthy lunch. I think I'm going to go with all kind of circle plates, but it de it depends on your design. Obviously, you could be just doing individual foods, or you could be doing this for something completely different. <laughs> so I think we'll go with this one for the lunch. So again, we're going to go edit photo. Um, background remover. It doesn't, as I say, uh, it doesn't usually take away everything, so you might just have to tidy it up a bit. But it's a fantastic facility, I think. Previously, you would have to go into another program and remove the background kind of painstakingly. It's, it's brilliant. Time saver. So, and then we're just going to reduce it down. So, kind of, we want it probably around about there. Let's make that one a bit smaller. Okay, and then back into elements. And this time we're looking for healthy dinner. Dinner. And we might just look for, oh, we're looking at photos again, sorry. And we'll go for, we'll go for this one, I think. It's kind of chicken, I think. So again, edit photo, background remover, perfect. And just gonna once again we're gonna drop it down in size. And then the last one we're looking for is healthy snacks. And once again in photos. So we could go. That one looks kind of nice in the hard bowl. So and the reason I picked that is because I just want to show you it has to be, they all have to be facing inwards. So let me just make that at 90. So they all have to be kind of either facing inwards or outwards, depends, depends what way you look at it. But um, so if we had it like straight at zero degrees um the effect won't work so uh so that's why mm, that's why they all have to be facing like that so then you can either make the transparency zero or you can just delete that at this stage uh, you don't really need it anymore 
and then we are going to share and we're going to click download and we're not saving it as video just at the minute we're going to save it as an image we want this as a as a flat image so i'm going to click on png and you're going to select transparent background you're going to make it up to about three and click download and then we're just going to group them together for a second and then you're going to click on uploads upload file and then once it's in you can then remove them and then we're going to here is our image now so the next thing we're going to do is just going to make it slightly bigger And we're going to start to do our text then. So we're going to click on text, add a text box, and the first one is breakfast. Just going to increase the size. And we're just going to change the font. I'm just going to use a Mr. one called Mr. Defoe. It's kind of scripty, but you can use whatever whatever font you like and um, we're going to make the text white so that causes a bit of a challenge so <laughs> we're going to just uh, make the background grey just for the moment so breakfast and then we're going to duplicate that we're going to bring it down here and again this one is facing <sighs> there we go and so when we're doing the effect, we're going to make the text spin one way and the image spin the other. So we need them to be opposite sides. So this side is going to be snacks. And the other side then is going to be lunch. We just need to spin it around so it's facing the correct way. And change it to lunch. And then the last one is dinner. Just see if that doesn't, it's not going to fit. I'll just make it slightly smaller. You can use the, um, it kind of tells you what it is, what the degrees are. So they have to be like 180 or 90. And this one is dinner. And again, this one has to be upside down. So they're all kind of, they're all facing inwards and all of your images are facing inwards. So we're going to do the same thing with the text. So we're going to delete the image just for a second and I might just make that a bit darker just so so it works a bit better and we're going to share download again png transparent background increase the size just for clarity and download and then when you click upload upload files and then when it uploads there it, there won't be any background on it because we we select a transparent background so we're just going to delete this because we're kind of done with them now and we are going to place our image and place our text once again we're just going to make the background a color just so we can see and uh, that's a bit pale i just make it a kind of orangey yellow color so we're going to now i'm going to show you how to how to make them spin so we're going to make the image kind of as big as you can So it only so it's the only image that appears. So we're just looking for the breakfast image. Yes. It's easier if you reduce the size of your of your board. Okay. 
I call it a board. The only reason I call it a board is because uh, I'm years as a graphic designer. I know somebody questioned recently why I was calling it an artboard, but to me it is an artboard. But uh, I know it's probably not what everyone else calls it, but uh, oh well. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to do the same with breakfast. So we only want we only want breakfast appearing and sometimes it's difficult to grab the right one. If you click on position and layers, it'll um, it'll then select the correct one for you. OK, so it's important that you don't uh, change these little sliders um, because we don't want we don't we need all of the images to be exactly the same in order for the transition to work if you change these the trend the rotate match and move transition won't work so then we just duplicate that and we go to the next one and this time we're looking for lunch so we just want it at 90 degrees again and Lunch might just make that a bit bigger because we can kind of see part of the next word. And then again go to position and this time and this time we're gonna go the other way. The other way, anti-clockwise. Really? So 90 degrees lunch, and then we're gonna duplicate. And then on this one, we are going to go clockwise to dinner. And again, position and anti clockwise. Make that slightly smaller. And then we're going to duplicate again. And this time we're going to get the snack one. Snacks again, 90 degrees. I'm just going to increase that slightly because we can see the other words. snacks so this is why oh this is why they all have to be facing inwards because if that was the other way it would then be sideways on your screen now as opposed to um the correct way so we're just going to go back and we're going to change the color of the background on each of them so they look a bit better just click on the yellow and we might make this one kind of bluey color maybe. I thought it was kind of funny with food. And it's maybe too dark. Pink. Pink. And then this one. An orangey color maybe. So now we're just going to add the transition. So it's really easy. You just click between them and we're looking for one called match and move. So we need to increase the duration to about one and a one point five and then apply between all pages. You just need to make sure that it has applied the um, the duration between each. And then when you click play, the magic happens. So it's, I think, cool. so we're just going to add a starter page. So we duplicate this one and we're going to delete this and delete this. And we're going to just add a, so we just look for a healthy 
of the background. And let me see. Maybe this one. Well, that's not so healthy because it has fried food in it. <laughs> um, like you could go for that one and because it's kind of suggesting that it's a meal plan. So then what you could do is kind of go and generate a meal plan and bulk create it. Um, so all of your other pages. So you could go like Monday and this is what we're going to have for lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack on Monday and Tuesday and so on and so on. You can really easily do a bulk create. I have a video here and um, that, that goes through the whole bulk create. It's it's a phenomenal actually tool that you can use for bulk creation. It's really good. Um so so that might be that might be an option there. Or um we could just go with something like this, maybe. And we might just remove the background again. Let's see what it does. Yep. And we might just add some text. So we'll just call it a healthy eating plan. Just increase this. Um, and we'll just make this Mr. Defoe as well. And we'll just change the color to white. And we might just animate it actually. And ascend. And we're going to go line as opposed to word. So that means um, healthy comes in and then eating plan comes in. If you go word, it's self-explanatory. They all come in individually. Um, and just speed. Okay. And then we might just do a flow. transition between them. So then this is our final movie. Which is pretty cool, I think. So then if you want to download it, you just click on share and click on download and this time we leave the mp4 video and it um, depends on your quality what, what you're using it for whether you're gonna like show it on a large screen or whether you're just going to show it on instagram and um, make sure all five pages are selected and then just click download if you've learned something new today please hit that like and subscribe